Mona, Richie, Robbie, and Ray. Episode 3. This is my white church. My lunch break is almost over. Shh. Well? All I could get was a man with wavy brown hair. Oh, God. Wallace? Uh, He's got wavy brown hair. She's going to steal Wallace. This is bad. I don't know who the man is, so I'll return half your money. Oh, this is so, so bad. No, it's fair. I did the reading, so that's the work I did. But since I couldn't reach a clear reading on how this woman will affect you, I'm returning half your money. The fact that you don't know makes it bad. Usually when you know it's good. Stop conjuring negative energy. You're making it bad saying that it's bad. It's bad. Really bad. I said stop saying it's bad. It's not good. Damn it, Mona. That's the same as saying it's bad. If she keeps coming, they're going to forget about me. You don't know white people like I do. I disagree. Considering I'm white. Whiter than a lovely virgin dressed in white on her wedding day. Oh, you far from being a virgin. Focus on the imagery, Mona. Imagery. I know my own white people. Yeah, but you're a psychic and you don't go to church. My body is a temple. The hell are you talking about? I don't have to go to church. I'm the temple. Jesus said that in the Bible. Oh, don't nobody read the Bible, Walina. Come sit down. Come on. I have to get back to work. I told you to stop worrying. Just be still. Okay? Okay. That was a fake okay. Okay. That was an okay with an attitude. Okay. Good. Now, repeat after me. I will be still. I will be still. One more time. Come on. I will be still. That's all you have to do. Interior, Mona's house, Sunday. Wake up, Robbie. You're coming to church with me today. Richie, wake up. I need you to come to church with me. You wait till now to tell me? If I told you any earlier, you wouldn't be here. I wish you'd have told me earlier so I wouldn't be here. Please, Richie, this is serious. I said I'd bring you to church with me. Please. This one time. I won't even ask you to come again. I sold all my good clothes. I swear to God. Or you want me to swear to Ray? Moments later. Richie, here. You can fit this, can't you? Ray suit? Now hurry up and get dressed. But Richie doesn't hurry up and get dressed. He sits there holding that suit. Interior, First United Methodist Church. Mona squeezed between Robbie and Richie on a back pew. Robbie plays a game on his phone. Mona sweeps glances over to Amber and Wallace. Tamara comes in and sits in front of Mona. She turns back and waves at Mona. Mona flashes a fake smile. Richie eye flirts with a member across the aisle. She keeps looking back at him, and every time she does, Richie smiles at her. Mona catches him and gives him a nudge. Not here, damn it. Exterior, First United's parking lot. Wait! I want you to meet somebody. (sighs) Hey, Amber! Y'all smile, goddammit. And they smile, goddammit. Hi, Amber. Here are my boys. Richmond and Robert. This is Amber. So great to meet you. I thought you said you had three children. Raymond, the oldest, is physically in a permanent sleep. But his... He's dead. (sighs) Oh. So, so, so sorry for your loss. Well, you know, it has been six years since Ray died, so, you know. Awkward beat, because Amber doesn't know. Mona wants to beat the shit out of Richie. It's just oozing from her narrowed eyes and pursed lips. Well, okay. Great meeting, y'all. Come again. <laughs> they will. <laughs> they sure will. We sure will. Let's go, Mona. Richie, you could have been nicer. She catches sight of Tamara talking to Amber and Wallace. They all hug. Why are they hugging Tamara and not her? What's going on over there? She watches Tamara wave goodbye to them. Tamara heads to her Lexus and sees Mona. Hi, Mona. The service was great, wasn't it? What's your angle? What? Interior, Mona's trailblazer. That's Miss Hudson, the guidance counselor from our school. Damn, she bad. My guidance counselor look uglier than Gus. I hope Mama's not saying something crazy. Miss Hudson got a nice ass. I could bite it. Hey, hey, you're not old enough to be biting ass. So stop thinking about it. Back to the parking lot. 
I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Fine. Play stupid. But whatever you're working, find your own white church to do it at. This is my white church. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I was here first. I've been here for two months. It's mine. Go work your angle at First Presbyterian or that Lutheran church on the highway. Or, or there's, there's Cross Point Baptist. Those people over there are way whiter than these people here. You mean Cross Gate. Cross Point's got a big Vietnamese crowd. I don't care. Where the hell you go? As long as it's not here. This is my white church, bitch. Stay away. Mona storms off. Why Tamara takes a moment to process what the hell just happened. Interior, plus size clothing store, new day. Richie goes through a rack of dresses. Actually, he's on the prowl, looking for clientele. And he's found a woman. They need eyes. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm shopping for my mother's birthday. You think she'd like this dress? No, indeed. That's a terrible dress. <laughs> Does your mother wear a lot of prints? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe. The woman turns around to see Richie giving her the look over. And guys don't do that. Give her the look over. You have the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. Exterior jewelry store day. Richie eyes a diamond engagement ring in a window display. The store owner motions for him to come in. A few more weeks, man. Don't look at me like that. I did what I had to do. I'm done with you. Leave and don't come back. I have to come back. You don't listen. That's bad for my business. I did listen. I'm attending that church like you say. That's all you needed to do to get that promotion. I didn't say start a fight with this woman. It's going to be bad. Leave. Leave. Don't come back. Well, Lena, no. I need you. You've got to help me. I'm done. Get out. She's going to mess it up for me. She's going to mess up me getting this promotion. I know she is. I can feel it with my hands even. That could be arthritis in your hands. I don't have arthritis. It doesn't matter. I'm done with you. Get out. Well, Lena, please. This woman, she's she's bad, bad, bad news. I know I it. don't want to hear it. Well, Lena turns on her radio. Al Green croons, let's stay together. Mona and Walena both fall silent. Listen. It's Ray. You know how much he loves Al Green. He's talking to you. You know he is. Help me. You have to listen to me. Anything you say. Apologize to that woman. Hell no. Do it. And you're going to bring her some cookies or brownies. I hate baking. Or cupcakes. Ugh, I hate baking. Or maybe those cake pops. They're the hip thing now. What the hell is a cake pop? Internet it, Mona. You will apologize to that woman immediately with a peace offering. If you don't, I'm done with you. Interior, John H. Blake Middle School, front office. Hi, Miss Glinda. Could you get him an escort to class, please? Uh, take your little ass to class and go straight there. The student takes his little ass to class, and we assume he went straight there because Glinda said so. Our church single group is going bowling Wednesday night. I can't go. Come, meet Mingo. Glenda, I'm going through a divorce. You need to stop wallowing. That's not fair. It's only been two weeks. Be a fighter. I am a fighter. You can't be a fighter and wallow at the same time. I'm not wallowing. I have somewhere to be on Wednesday. Where? Crying in your car. I never cry in my car. So your husband left you for another man. It happens to a lot of women. Look, you can't wallow. He done moved on and found himself a good man. Why can't you? You gotta be a fighter. I am a fighter. I am a fighter. Rocky, Rocky ain't got nothing on me. That's the spirit, girl. You fight. You fight your way through this shit. <coughs> um, uh, excuse me. Uh, could, could you please call my mom? I'm not feeling good. Why you brought your sick ass here in the first place? Get away from my desk with all this damn coughing. Didn't Jesus say we'd be persecuted because of him? It's in the Bible. Amen. But you still have to take a stand. Fight that good fight. We all have to be fighters for the Lord. Mona and Tamara meet eyes. 
Tamara rolls her eyes and folds her arms because she is a fighter. Hi, Tamara. I was awful to you Sunday. I, I'm sorry. Here, I made something for you. What is that? Cake pops. Berry cherry? Looks like globs of pink vomit. Now, wait a minute. No, I'm a fighter. I'm not taking your shit. Tam, Tam, come here for a sec. Okay, girl. Bye, bitch. You can't call me a bitch on church grounds. You call me a bitch first, bitch. Tamara struts over to Amber, Wallace, and another couple. Hey, y'all. Meet Tamara. She went to Swanee, too. <gasps> you should come to our party. Lots of alum will be there. You are going to come, right? Sure. Great. 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 Mona stands there wishing she had gotten invited to the party. She throws the container into the garbage. Interior, Mona's room, night. Mona watches Raymond's DVD. Caller ID shows it's Walina. Mona turns off her phone and rewinds the DVD. End of episode three. If you're enjoying this podcast, be sure to tell a friend, like us on your favorite podcast platform, and tell another friend. To learn more about this series, visit AtlantaScreenplay.com. That's AtlantaScreenplay.com. 